Find dead fuel moisture is 7 exposed, 10 shaded, and probability of ignition is 50 exposed, 30 shaded. How do you copy? Putting fire on the ground is a good thing, and we need more of that. It's kind of like a conundrum to call yourself a firefighter. Yeah, you know, I'm putting fire on the ground, actually. And people will be like, wow, you put fire on the ground? Like, isn't that bad? And you're like, well, no, not always. Um, this burn has been in the planning stages for about four years. Uh, this area that we burned, the 87 acres, which is a drop in the bucket, but hey, it's something, and we're real happy. Um, there's a lot of uh, reproduction, tree reproduction, small shade tolerant trees, and it's a way overstocked forest in the understory. But fire is a great tool because it, it can get it all done in one or two days. Doing work and managing these groves is what has been happening for thousands of years. We just have lived in this sort of false reality of this time that we created in the American West where we had no fire on the landscape. High severity fire in a giant sequoia grove that kills 93% of the grove is not natural. And we know that because we have a fire history record because these are one of the longest living species on earth. And so we know that the widespread high severity that we're seeing right now is unprecedented. And we have never seen it before in the history of the giant sequoia that we see on the landscape right now. This is not how the forest should have looked. We can't just sit here and watch them get obliterated every single year. And that's what's been happening for the last six years. But other than that, I don't, I don't want to do too much more uh, active ignition. It's too late to turn back the clock. I mean, we can ignore it and, quote, let nature run its course. And then what do you have? You have the Dixie fire, you have the Calder fire, you have the Windy fire, the KMP complex. And those are just a handful of huge fires. Really, well, I don't even know what nature is anymore because the climate's changing. <laughs> it's getting warmer. Fire seasons are getting longer. It's no longer a natural system. We have to do something proactive. If we let nature take its course, then we're just fighting gigantic fires and we're losing small towns throughout the Sierra that are getting wiped out in an afternoon. We're losing giant sequoias. We're losing our ponderosas and sugar pines. I mean, it's, it's pretty bleak, to be honest. It's, uh, so I wish I had happier news. The thing about managing giant sequoia, it's not a 50 year time, so it's not a 100 year time scale, it's not a 200 year time scale, it's a thousand year time scale, which really puts it into perspective.